This tree of wisdom standing erect on the banks of river Meenachal with its perennial motto of Vaita, Lux and Amor has for the last seven decades been nestling and nurturing generations of knowledge seekers with her shade of erudition and charisma. Born out of the far-sightedness of a group of visionaries and instituted by the blessings of Bishop Sebastian Weilil, the first Bishop of Pala, this tree of wisdom sprouted on 7th August 1950. Affiliated to the University of Kerala, this temple of wisdom took its first academic breath with intermediate classes. Commencing with 300 students and 14 teachers under the able leadership of the first principal, Dr. P.J. Thomas, this institution has turned several milestones in its 70 years history of incessant toil and success sagas. It was the foresight of Mar Sebastian Weilil that led to the inviting of Dr. P.J. Thomas, who was a financial advisor to the Government of India and a great scholar to adorn the principal's chair of this budding centre of erudition. The present patron, Mar Joseph Kalaranya, an acclaimed theologian, an influential orator, and an established church scholar with his visionary self and an integrated outlook of education, guides with ease this pioneering institution. St. Thomas College Palais has a unique relationship with the Diocese of Palais. The diocese channeled a significant portion of its financial resources to develop the infrastructure of the fledgling institution. Effectively utilizing funds from all possible means, the college achieved exponential growth. The college has been striving to impart quality education and human and Christian values. It has played a significant and a leading role in the transformation of the agricultural society in and around Menachil. Now, St. Thomas is a destination for those aspiring for quality education. Our present manager, Mar Jacob Murican, an ascetic and a humanitarian par excellence, with his gentle presence and fatherly affection, is a pole star that leads us to the light of wisdom. Our St. Thomas College is one of the premier first grade college in Mahalma Gandhi University, Kottayam. So accreditation means it is a time of assessment, evaluation, examination and study of the quality of the institution by expert authority on the basis of national quality and parameters of excellence. So I wish all the success to the arrangements and all efforts, all those who have been working behind in this very dynamic efforts of NAC accreditation process. The faculty of the college is a backbone of the institution. Our faculty is a collective mind of erudition and academic prowess who have proved their mettle in various capacities and dimensions. We have 53 PhD holders among our faculty. Many of the members of the faculty are part of different national and international academic and cultural bodies. Many of our faculty members are recipients of national and international awards, fellowships and honours like Fulbright Scholarship, Visiting Professorship and Postdoctoral Fellowship. Some of them have occupied higher organisational positions. The efficiency of the teachers and the dedication of the students constantly converge to harvest the best results in the university every year. The efficient and dedicated ministerial staff works incessantly for the uninterrupted functioning of the administrative machinery. Their resourcefulness adds to the efficacy of the job done. No other college under the Mahatma Gandhi University matches the number of ranks secured by our students in different streams, both UG and PG, during the last five years. 
the number of students qualifying exams like NET, GRF, GATE, etc. adds to the glory of the yearly academic results. The college is rich with around 3,000 students, 150 for teachers and 44 ministerial staff. The 2015 re-accreditation of the college by the NAC with an A grade, the title the College with Potential for Excellence and the FIST acknowledgement by the Department of Science and Technology testify to the unbridled growth of the institution. The present principal, Rev. Dr. James Jones, an erudite historian and dynamic educationist, is ever keen on taking forward this great legacy. Education aims at the transformation of the individuals and society for a better and vibrant future. St. Thomas College Pale is one of the premier educational institutions in South India, catering to the academic needs of almost 2,800 students. The college is known for the value system it follows, the reputed faculty members with the research, aptitude and publication, infrastructure facility, alumni of international and national reputation and academic excellence. The students of St. Thomas College amass university ranks every year. Unclear competitive examinations like NET, JRF, CSIR, SET and also many are placed well. Various alumni chapters in different parts of the world like PASCOS add name and fame to our college. The college is blessed by the visit of persons of high repute like Jawaharlal Nehru, Indira Gandhi, V.V. Giri, A.P.J. Abdul Kala, Metha Patkar, Irom Sharmila, et al. Recognizing the quality of education that we impart, the UGC has recognized St. Thomas College as a college with the potential for excellence. Besides, NAC has re-accredited our college with A grade. We are also mentors of colleges aspiring for accreditation under the Paramarsh scheme. In short, St. Thomas is at the forefront through the formation of invaluable human resources. The principal is amply supported by the priceless service rented by the Vice Principal Dr. Sunny Kuriakos, Bursar Reverend Father Matthew Kurian Kavanadi Malil and IQAC Coordinator Dr. Sunil C. Matthew. The green campus spreading across 40 acres is located at Arunapuram on the banks of the river Meerachil, a little away from the bustle of the city of Pala. The campus was planned in such a way that the natural ecosystem was preserved intact without losing its rustic charm. The greenery of the campus reminds us of an ashram. The trees on the campus share the cultural and historical legacy of the college. The multiple blocks that make up the entire college are scattered across the greenery loudly proclaiming its environmental concern and eco-consciousness. The towering main bloat, which is the A bloat, crystallizes the cultural legacy and historical prominence of the entire college by being a tangible metaphor. The internal quality assurance cell of the college under the coordination of Dr. Sunil C. Matthew has been successful in developing and assessing the consistent performance of the institution. It harnesses the efforts of all the stakeholders in achieving its short-term and long-term goals. Past the alluring history of seven decades, this college has etched its unique emblem in the academic arena of the state with 10 research programs, 15 postgraduate programs, 18 undergraduate programs, 19 add-on courses, 9 value-added courses and 16 vocational education and training programs. The might of our library opens the endless avenue of reading and research. The four-storied building constructed to commemorate the golden jubilee of the college. Periodicals, journals, CDs, newspapers, theses, dissertations, monographs, previous year's question papers, bound volumes of journals, periodicals and other e-resources and partially automated facilities functions as the epicenter of the throbbing academic life of the institution.
a university study center operates in the library block run by the MG University staff. It complements the academic requirements of the staff and students. Besides all these, most of the research departments have their own departmental library. The ICNO Center of the college is of great help to a number of knowledge seekers trying to fulfill their academic dreams in the distance mode. The community college associated with the institution also offers programs. The campus is also home to a civil service institute which has an enviable track record of producing civil servants to the country every year. Aspirants among our PG and UG students make use of the institution along with their regular studies. The name of the college has been written in golden letters in the history of sports and games of the nation by stalwarts like the volleyball icon Jimmy George, Jose George IPS, the international volleyball player, Dronacharya S. Pradeep, the Arjuna awardee Wilson Cherian, the Olympian Manoj Lal et al. More than 50 of our students have been professionally placed on sports quota for the last five years. The latest addition is the Integrated Sports Complex, consisting of a multi-purpose indoor stadium. An Olympic standard swimming pool and a walker's lane. The college stands confirmed in its social commitment by ensuring the public participation in the form of membership. Two gymnasiums add to the sheen of the sports facility. The open gymnasium is a first of its kind in the aided education sector of the state. Thus, the college is also a sanctuary of the health of the region, emanating the valuable message of psychosomatic well-being. The college has a well-furnished language lab and computer center. These facilities are used by the students for improving their communication and soft skills. Students also seek these centers for undergoing mock online tests. Online platforms like MOOC and Moodle are introduced to the students and teachers of the college. The college has a mechanism to harness the activities of these online platforms. The adjacent Pastoral Institute, consisting of more than 200 AC and non AC rooms, functions as a temporary annex, providing accommodation facilities to guests and participants when international, national seminars and workshops are conducted in the college. During the recent COVID-19 pandemic, it was transformed into a first-line COVID treatment center. Quality research output is a prime indicator of the scientific contribution of any institution. The 10 active research departments of the college accommodate research aspirants across the state. Our well-equipped and maintained laboratories associated with the science research departments provide the researchers with quality research atmosphere. Our publication output attests to the excellent research infrastructure. Research departments under the human science stream have also proven their mettle. The research committee in the college efficiently monitors the quality of the research conducted. All science departments have their own computer labs or computational facilities. The statistical computer lab with high-speed computational facility stands second to none in the state. The institution has a well-maintained web portal that makes available to the public events and functions happening in the college. The college is ever ready to welcome the changes happening in the dynamic area of education and research. It consistently hosts seminars, workshops, symposiums, conferences, etc. The institution has adequate numbers of seminar halls to facilitate them. The recently added one to this list is St. Joseph's Hall, an air-conditioned conference hall with a capacity of 177 fully furnished with state-of-art ICT facilities. The college also houses 
three self-financing programs and vocational programs. They complement the regular academic rhythm of the institution. Kristuraj Hostel provides affordable accommodation facilities to students hailing from faraway places. Father Matthew Alapatamedil, the warden of the hostel, takes care of the hostel with the aid of his assistant, Father Ebin Palekel. Apart from providing cheap accommodation facilities, the hostel provides the inmates with conducive academic atmosphere and platforms for their personality development. Accommodation to the staff is provided in two hostels. Philips Hostel is located adjacent to the administrative block of the college and the staff quarters is next to the college entrance. The girl students of the college are given accommodation in four of the nearby hostels run by sisters. Proximity of these hostels is very helpful to the girl students in carrying out their academic life without interruption. The college chapel provides the students with a serene atmosphere for their spiritual growth. The chapel also becomes a venue for customary religious rituals too. Departments of Botany, Zoology and Archaeology have their own well-maintained museums which preserve valuable pieces of archaeological knowledge from respective branches of learning. The career and placement cell of the college has been doing commendable service in conducting regular placement drives which ensure professional safety to selected students. The solar power plant installed by the recruits pronounces loudly the unfathomable love for the alma mater. The botanical garden maintained under the ages of the department of botany is a herbal treasure of different plants. This complements the eco-consciousness of the campus and attests to the environmental ethos of the college. The college is keen in preserving its water bodies intact and also harvest water for domestic purposes. The rainwater harvesting system of the institution is capable of meeting most of the water requirements of the campus. Welfare needs of the staff are met by a staff cooperative society which offers schemes like short-term and long-term loans, overdraft facility, home loan, salary advance, etc. An amenity centre run by the staff cooperative society managed by elected members of the staff functions inside the campus offering textbooks and other stationary items at subsidised rate. The canteen on the campus provides meals at moderate rate. It also doubles as a space for social interaction. The institution is home to a very successful and dedicated NSS unit. The camps conducted by NSS take the students out of their textual world and give them a chance of using their capabilities for social purposes, which broadly fall within the purview of nation building. The NSS coordinators and volunteers have been winning university accolades for many years now. The army and naval wings of NCC, the organizational platforms equip the students with skills of multiple dimensions. They are trained in civic sense, corporeal discipline, constitutional values, patriotism and so on. The college offers all facilities for the multifaceted development of the students. Various clubs and associations on the campus are meant to meet this purpose. Dignitaries like the Supreme Court former Chief Justice Mr. K. G. Balakrishnan and former Governor Mr. K. M. Chandi were molded by this institution. That our college was visited by Nobel laureates like Professor Eda E. Yonet, Professor Dr. Close Von Klitzing, and Professor E. Ichi Negishi. National leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru, Indra Gandhi and Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. Literary figures like Sri Kumar and Thampi, Benyamin, Vaila Sharachandra Varma and Rafiq Ahmed. Social workers like Medha Phatka and Irom Shamla proclaims its cultural heritage and openness to the newer avenues of knowledge. The number of alumni functioning as technocrats, scientists, administrators, vice-chancellors, chief secretaries, 
but Nagar awardees, ministers, members of legislative assemblies, and so on, in different parts of the world, testifies to her academic loftiness. The college has reformulated its ideals to address the requirements of the differently abled as part of its motto of inclusive learning. The college has made itself convenient to the requirements of the disabled with ramps and other provisions such as providing scribes for writing exams, disabled friendly software and so on. Thus the institution provides a barrier-free academic and administrative environment adhering to its declared motto of inclusive learning. St. Thomas College Pala is a beacon of light, shedding her luminescence of wisdom on generations who have kept this temple of eternal hope close to their hearts. The college stands erect, welcoming each batch of students and sending them off to the wide world, having shaped them on her ethical anvil. The greenery of the campus, the supporting academic ambience, the interpersonal and people skills one achieves from this college all remains fresh in each student's memory throughout his or her life. May this bastion of education, this temple of light, remain a pride welcoming generations to Kabusa.